Hello! <laughs> Did that wake you up? Good. Good. <laughs> Hi, my name is Manu Mathieu State and welcome back to some Cafe Stella. I just got out of the shower and if I look like somebody just beat me up, it's because somebody did it. A plant did. So today at work, today at work, I was hoping unload a truck. And there's a plant in particular that is extremely thorny for no good reason. And it's called the Bougainvillea. And so the Bougainvillea happened to fall on my face. And it went, Hew! and then it got, it got me. It tagged me, scratched my face up. So I have a, I have a little scratcher, scratches that look like I just grabbed a pen and just drew all over my face. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get straight into this video. Oh, one smoked pepper carbonara. Hi. I'm going to wash these dishes before they start piling up. Onegai. We're selling a lot more pancakes than yesterday, aren't we, Suzuna-san? Oh, oh. mouth sure spreads fast. Business is booming. Oh. What's with the enthusiasm in this episode? I don't understand. This is probably the episode where they're probably gonna bone. Finally. On it. I'm not, but he is. What do you mean? I'm always fired up. Come on, stop chatting. Move those hands. Our customers are waiting. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Anything for grandma. Hi. You heard the woman. Lots of orders to fill. Let's get to work, Suzuna-san. She's our number one hater. She's just jealous that we're fired up today. And she is not. Oh my god, just take the W and walk away. Put the pancakes in the bag. Just get over it. Sure. You do that? レギュラーメニューにしてほしいって声もありますしかし what? But we sold out completely again today. Was there something wrong with it? Indeed, indeed. Indeed. Really, it's that popular. Seriously, I had no idea people liked it so much. Thanks. Yeah, I'm insanely happy. Gente Dakara すみませんが、この後少し時間をいただけますか。軽く打ち合わせをしましょう。Sure, I don't mind. Oh, 
良ければメイさんも燻製カルボナーラ開発の立て役者ですからね意見を聞かせてくださいあ、はいでは今日はここまでとしよう皆ご苦労だったお疲れ様でしたお疲れ様でしたお疲れ The three of them head out the door, leaving me, Yuchidani, Akizuki san, and Mikado. So, this meeting. Alright, I'll try preparing a few more dishes next week as an experiment. Maybe up the order limit to 25. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to 簡単に確認したいだけなので時間を取らせるつもりはありませんよあれから変わりありませんかはい蝶を出す方法もまだ分からなくてわかりました方法はゆっくりと見つけていきましょう蝶の回収を目的として始めたこの店だがメイのおかげで随分とはかどっている改めて礼を言おう感謝する Uh -oh. Alright, so. Welcome, Grandma. Anything for you. Alright, I mean, this was all because of the problem I had with my soul in the first place. But I'm glad you appreciate me. Honestly, this job has been pretty fulfilling for me too lately. だろうなかなりいい状態のようだまだ油断はできませんがこのままいい方向へ向かえばもう心配はいりませんね Phew, that's a relief to hear I owe it all to Hiyuchidani さん Thanks for guiding me in the right direction Oh my god, I didn't even do that Alright いえ、そんな You did Thank you for everything Glaze, glaze, glaze I see, I see, I see. Ah, ano, hanashite. Mo, wari desu. Ja, ano, atashi, yoji aru no de. So ka, hiki tomete sumana katta na. Ah, ie, o tsukare sama deshita. Ja, atashi. Let me walk you. Shitsurei shimasu. Huh? Quickly spinning around on her heels, she dashes out the door. Huh? Wait, wasn't she planning to give me some chocolates today? Yeah, I am. Yeah, good night. Feeling confused, I head for the door as well. Oh, I get it. She was probably just embarrassed to give it to me in front of the other two. I bet she's waiting outside to... <sighs> she's not here. No way, but yesterday she said... What? Did that I just... This interpreter? Is this how my Vance's day is going to end without a single piece of chocolate? <laughs> Dang. I should have known. My murmurs vanished pointlessly into the cold asphalt beneath my feet. It's about to pull up with a huge at chocolate. I trudge home, my head hung so low that most passers by are probably looking at me strangely. Oh. My phone dings. Hurriedly, I pull it out of my pocket and check the screen. Oh? It's a lime message from Hyuchidani san. I'm sorry for running off earlier. Could we meet right now? Yes! I reflexively pump my fist in the air. The people around me are definitely giving me odd stares now, but I don't care. I never doubted you for a second, capper. Naturally, I message her. Sure, in response. It's instantly marked red, so she then instructs me to meet her at our usual meeting spot at the mall. I hadn't gotten a single piece of chocolate from any of my coworkers. Even Ozomi, who usually gave me some every year, hadn't given me anything. However, Hiuchidani san is planning to give me something. There can be no doubt about it. Oh yeah, but what if she doesn't? I feel my confidence faltering for a second, but I quickly shake the doubts from my head. 
My real Valentine's Day starts right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that so? Is that so? Many stores have been decorated for Valentine's Day and there are red hearts plastered nearly everywhere I look. Although it's nearly closing time, there are a surprising amount of people still wondering about couples, mostly. I feel a little awkward being here on my own. And here, Chidani-san, who's sitting on a nearby bench, appears to be feeling the same. <gasps> Noticing me, she breaks into a small smile. But soon her expression stiffens again. Guess I shouldn't get too excited. I feel my confidence waning again. Voice is getting raspy. Ah, <coughs> uh, this is why I'm always drinking water. Cause like, you know, you know, you know. Hey, sorry for keeping you waiting. I sit down next to Hiyuchidani san who's still looking rather awkward. You better be sorry. Now where's my chocolate? Freaking out? Back on her lap, she pulls out a small, cutely wrapped box. Is this... Chocolate! <laughs> Handmade? Oh, is that why you've been going home together lately? Yes. My preferences? Oh, wait. So that's why she wanted my opinion on her pancakes. Come to think of it, she kept asking me if the sweetness was just right or not. Just trying to figure out what I like. Well, that explains why you've been acting so strange lately. <laughs> Is this why the others said they weren't giving me any chocolates this year? So this wouldn't be a surprise? Very respectable thing to do. I respect it. Phew, I thought for sure you hated me or something. I mean, you've been avoiding me lately, haven't you? See? It's alright. I've been really anxious these past few days, so it's a relief to know the truth. Handmade chocolate, though. This is more than I expected. Thank you. Right now? A fork too? And milk? To be honest, I was planning to go home and savor it there. Time for you to feel that anxiety I felt. That's gonna be him. Imagine how toxic that is. Uh oh, better bite it right now. Nope. Uh oh. Alright, I'll have a bite. Uh oh. I take the fork she thrusts out at me, carefully untie the wrapping ribbon, and open the box. Oh? A chocolate cake? What the heck is it? Sounds fancy. Was it hard to make? 
さんが手取り足取り丁寧に教えてくれたのであでもこれは一人で作りましたよちゃんとできたと思いますあーでも出来たては外パリパリなんですけどふにゃってなっちゃってますねでもまずくないはずですすずねさん直伝のレシピですから焼き時間も忠実に守りました味も先輩好みのはずですだからどどうぞ食べてください、mm-hmm. Alright Don't mind if I do then Dang, that looks good. I stick my fork into the chocolate. Fondant? The inside has a thick, syrupy, thick, syrup, eat chocolate as well as some fruit strawberries. That's a pleasant surprise. Digging out a chocolate coated strawberry and some of the surrounding crust I carried in my mouth. Oh. It's delicious. Honto d e s k o k a t a Oh, God, it's so good. That'd be me. How? How can something taste this good? That looks really good. The animation makes it look a little too real. My God. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay. Everyone kept saying they, they wouldn't be giving me any chocolate. Dang, that chocolate really means a lot to him. Even the Zomi, who usually gives me chocolate every year, gave me nothing. Yeah, but she said she'd only be giving them to me out of force of habit. Ouchie, ouch. <laughs> In the end, the only person who gave me chocolate was you. And had made chocolate, too. Thank you. Thank you, Yuchi Dani san. <laughs> yeah, I know. I guess I tried hard to sell it. She smacks me on the shoulder. Hey, it's been a while since I felt this way. I miss chatting with her like this. Okay, the crowd was purely theatrics, but that's generally how happy I am. It tastes amazing. Yeah, I mean it. Seriously. I could finish off both these chocolates right here if I'm not careful. Yuchirani san's nervous expression finally gives way to one of relief. Just end it right then and there. Problem solved. There's no way you could have gone wrong with Suzuna san's recipe. Besides, even if it did taste bad, I'd never say it to your face. No, 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 it's delicious, really. That sounds tough. Chocolate Her face suddenly lights up. The brightness of her smile makes my heart skip a beat. Flustered, I avert my eyes. 
However, here Chirani-san seems to find this reaction sus. I already told you, why don't you believe me? Didn't you taste it yourself beforehand? It was delicious, wasn't it? Even so, it tastes delicious. <laughs> if you're really that worried about the taste, why don't you try some yourself? Carve out a piece with my fork and hold it out towards Yuchidani-san's mouth. Somewhat hesitantly, she takes a bite. The moment it goes into her mouth, however, her eyes shoot open. See, I told you. What? Virgin episode part 2. Alright, sorry. You're pretty sensitive about these sorts of things, aren't you? My bad, I totally forgot. What did you just say? Pretty thrilled right now. Thank you. Seriously. Dang, she has bigger balls than Kosei. She's about to do it. She's about to confess, basically. Oh, come on. I can't believe she told you that, too. I, uh, I mean, I was only half joking when I said that. He's not. Uh-uh. Yeah, I was just messing with her. But, but don't worry, I'm not dumb enough to think you like me just because of a couple of chocolates. <laughs> She has bigger balls than him. Congrats, me. Okay. Wait, what? I nearly dropped my fork on the ground. Does that mean what I think it means? Uh. Mm hmm. Yuchi Dana some bushes bright red, clamping her mouth shut. Nice! Thumbnail. She looks down at her hands, anxiously twisting her fingers together. She's acting strange again. This time I understand why. It isn't because she dislikes me or wants to avoid me. In fact, it actually seems that she... Yuchirani-san remains silent. So do I. I want to be sure. I want to ask her what she meant before. Does she really have feelings for me? But what if I'm mistaking? What if I'm just being conceited? I'm a coward. Indeed you are. I'm scared. What if she just laughs right in my face? That's a valid concern. Her voice grows husky. I was so nervous, so tense that I couldn't even manage the grunt in response. <laughs> we haven't heard this soundtrack before, have we? Or at least I haven't. I like it, it sounds good. Or is it a remake or something else? It sounds kind of familiar. No, it's different, it's different. Forget it. Forget what I said. が先輩のこと好きなのかって話になってわかんないって言ったけどみんなは好きなんでしょってそう言うからそうなのかなって思ったけどでも
かんない<笑>自分の気持ちよくわかんないけど先輩のことはとっても大事です大事な存在ですってでも読み返しますかウェキウェキ I'm sorry 先輩。私は、あなたが言うことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞くことを聞ユーチダンさん、さんに、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、さん、
In that moment, I feel some of my own nervousness using it as well. Nevertheless, my heart is still throbbing fiercely. Alright, nice word. Me too. My face must be burning up right now. Again, silence. Although we've just finished confessing our feelings to each other, we have no idea what to do next. The both of us fall silent again. But though the silence feels a little awkward, it isn't entirely unpleasant either. Perhaps because we've gone from simply being co-workers to being boyfriend and girlfriend. I have to remind myself it's real. And Hiroto's still gonna have no maidens. Uh, if you don't mind. Could I call you by your first name? It'd feel oddly formal if I kept using your last name. <laughs> I can't help it, I've never called you this before. May. What about you? Will you start calling me by my name? That's not what it says on my birth certificate. Almost got it. You can drop the honorific too. Okay. That's better, that's better. Almost got it, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty embarrassing for me too. <laughs> Alright, I guess we wouldn't want the others to tease us about it. Oh, they 100% will. The two of us start fidgeting. <laughs> they start tweaking. <laughs> Up until now, there were hardly ever any awkward silences between us. And now that we've confessed our feelings to one another, neither of us seem to be able to think of anything to say. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I mean, if that's okay with you. <laughs> she smiles happily. Honestly, she looks so cute, it's almost painful to look her in the face. I had no idea she could make an expression like that. But from now on, I'm probably going to be seeing even more faces I've never seen before. Somehow, even though I'm already at my limit, my heart begins to pound even faster at the thought. It's gotta be hard, breaking that habit so easily. So suddenly, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, let's just take things at our own place. Pace. What? <laughs> of course not. In fact, you may as well start right now. Oh. She flashes me a shy smile. The expression is too adorable. I have to run. I have to turn my head away again. The silence isn't making things any easier either. I open my mouth, desperately searching for something to talk about. Th thanks for the uh, chocolate. I'll make sure to sit down and enjoy it when I get home. Oh, warm chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds good. I'll try chilling one and heating up the other then. Sure, I'll message you online. Or maybe tell you in person tomorrow. 
Speaking of which, I'd also like to grab something to eat together sometime. Yeah, I'll let you know. Kind of amazing how easily you're back to talking like normal, Yuchidani-san. She points both her index fingers at her own face. My face, on the other hand, feels like it's lost all its color. Oh, dang. Well, this is the first time anyone's ever confessed to me. I can't contain how happy I feel. I think all the blood's rushing to my heart. It's pounding so much it almost hurts. He dies? Yeah, you're the first girl who's ever told me they liked me. Nice. Uh, I don't think I can take much more. I want to keep talking, but my heart's seriously going to give out soon. Hey, oh, that doesn't sound healthy. We should get going. I'll walk you home. It's okay. Take it slow. <laughs> Placing my chocolates carefully back into the box, I stand up. Hmm. Since we're dating now and all, but why don't we hold hands? <laughs> if you don't want to, that's fine. Mm. Great! <laughs> you sure are stuttering a lot, though. Do you want to hold hands? She holds out her small, delicate hand. And I wrap my own boorish hand around it. This is the virgin root. Sorry, I know my hand's really sweaty. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Stiff as boards and staring at the ground, the two of us make our way home. To the people around us, we probably seem like a very strange couple. Or are they laughing at us for looking so inexperienced? I don't know, but I have the courage. I don't have the courage to look up and check either. <laughs> to make matters worse, things have gone quiet again. Every nerve in my body is focused on the sensation of her hand. I can't think of anything to say. In the end, we remain silent the entire way back. We arrive in front of Uchidani sons. No. I should try getting used to using her first name. We arrived in front of May's house. Yeah. Letting go of my hand, she gives me a small wave. However, she seems reluctant to leave, standing motionless on the spot. She wants to stay together for a while, a little while longer. As do I. I grab hold of her hand again. Taking a half step forward, I bring myself just a bit, tiny bit closer to her. I don't know why I did that, but my body moved on its own. Sure it did, buddy. Arise me. The mood feels just right. I feel my gaze being drawn towards her lips. The thought I'd want to kiss her comes naturally to me. May seems to be thinking the same thing as me. As well. She closes her eyes. That means I can, right? Right? Alright, my first kiss. Here it goes. <laughs> Not the noise, please. Oh, we're not there yet. May turns her face away, perhaps because I hesitated too long. I respect that. I respect that. That's cute. Yeah, sorry. That's crazy. Although she scolds me, she has a smile on her face. I feel slightly relieved knowing that she doesn't really mean it. I'm sure there are a lot of things we both want to do, but we should take things slow, step by step. Yeah, see you tomorrow.
What do you mean? Furrowing her brow, she looks down at the ground. Then, after making up her mind, she looks back up. Ma <laughs> yeah, see ya. Spinning around, she dashes away and disappears into her house. Ah, dang it. Unable to stand it any longer, I squat down onto the ground. My heart wasn't ready for this. Just yesterday, I was worried that she actually hated me. I never would have imagined she would confess to me, let alone become my girlfriend. Felt like I'm dreaming. In fact, maybe I am. Ouch. I can't believe I really just pinched my own cheek. That's about as cheesy as it gets. Still, I can't stop myself from grinning ear to ear. Nice. That was good. Very awkward, but it was good. That was cute. Oh, ah, yes. Morning. Mayo rides for work around the evening. Though I try acting as naturally as I can, I can't help but stutter stiltedly the moment I eyes me. My awkwardness doesn't go unnoticed by Suzune san. Yes, nosy boss? Huh? That sucks. S sorry. Mm, interesting that you assume. Oh, wait, yeah, I guess she did that. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, they were really good. I almost ate them all on the spot. I hurriedly changed what I was about to say. I haven't decided yet whether. Could I turn off notifications for people that go on on Steam? I should probably do that. I don't care who's on. I haven't decided yet whether or not to inform the others that we've started dating. Probably isn't a good idea to tell them without talking to May. May about it first. However, it doesn't appear that I'm being very convincing. Suzuna san narrows her eyes at me. Can you stop being nosy? What? <laughs> I'll have to refrain from commenting on that. She smirks. Great idea. I mean, she, you're getting that responsibility to her. That's gross. No way they took her home again. <laughs> よろしくお願いします。<笑><笑> ほかにも小さなミスいろいろ。今までこんなことなかったから、くどくど言いたくはないけれど、これからも続くようじゃ困る。はい、すみません。話して、何があったの？それは、せめてるんじゃないの。原因を特定して解決する手助けがしたいだ
手作りで勘違いするほどガキじゃないかあ<笑>、oh, God だからそ,その<笑>勘違いしてください She's doing the finger thing like <laughs> Literally, what I was thinking. That's insane. Wait, what's that? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. t h a t t h t でも、玉砕はないですよね。どう見ても両思いでしたし。えそんなあからさまな態度取ったつもりは。取ってた。取ってたね。取ってました。うん、取ってた。そんな流れるように言わなくても。え、例えば、私何してました<笑>何というか、高峰君と話しているときの表情が違う。私も前の女子会から意識して見てたんだけど確かに違ってたよコウセイ君と話してる時すごく嬉しそうだったもんなんで意識して見てるのそんなのなんだか気になっちゃって<笑>で告白して終わりえあるでしょ続き終わんないでしょ告白だけで。
何ですかこの反応なんだろう映画のクライマックスで肩透かし食らった気分な何ですかそれちなみにメイさんはさはい結婚するまでエッチもダメって人ど当然じゃないですかそんなの Of course, as in yes or no. Oh, I get it. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 ですよね多分興味はあるでしょうね間違いなく Damn, poor girl. She must feel so pressured. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> じゃあ、肩苦しく考える必要はないと思うけどな。私も肩苦しい方だとは思いますが、恋人同士なら自然なことですしね。カンナ ずっとしてなかったからなーってそんな雰囲気にならなくなっちゃって悪い意味で関係性が固まってしまってタイミングがわからなくなるわけですねありがちだなそういうのそれで別れちゃった<笑><笑><笑> They just keep telling her all these things, bro Look at her, poor thing That's funny. Nani? Nandes, 
てたがるんですかあなたたちには幸せになってほしいからうん私も応援したい職場でできた初めてのカップルだしねどうしても感情移入しちゃうよねですね2人が幸せになってくれることを心から真剣に願っているんですいや面白がってますよね 100% <笑>っていうか分かってて聞くんですけど皆さん自分も経験あるみたいな感じで話してますけどないですよねゼロ<笑>人事だと思って適当なこと言ってますよね<笑><笑>ほらほらほら全員だまる目をそらす落ち着いてメイさんみんな構成目線になっちゃっただけだから。だってこんなウブで恥ずかしがり屋で可愛い彼女できたらいろいろとしたくなるでしょうそんなことなるなりますねうんなるなるだから何なのその連携真面目な話よく話し合った方がいいと思う悶々とされたらミスが今以上に増えそうだしそれは。年長者として言わせてもらうと会話って大事だからねあの人はこう考えているはずだ自分を理解してくれているはずだ逆に理解できないはずだそんな風に決めつけて話し合うことを忘れるとどんどんこじれるからこれは想像じゃなくて実感ね今まで生きてきた上で思ったこと価値観のすり合わせはしっかりした方がいいでしょうねメイさんの低層観念の高さはキスの件で高峰さんも分かっているでしょうが結構我慢しちゃうからねコウセイくんメイちゃんのためならというか関係を壊したくなくてかなそういうの嫌だったら自分はこう思うけどコウセイくんはどうしたいって聞いた方がいいかも確かに結婚まではって考えてるの私だけだったら先輩つらいのかな、うん、聞いてみる聞いてみますかなり恥ずかしいけどそういう恥ずかしいのを乗り越えてこそ恋人同士じゃないうんうん二人なら絶対いいカップルになれるよ高峰さんメイさんとの仲が深まるにつれて前向きになりましたはい頑張ってね私たち応援してるから<笑>はいありがとうございますでもんいい話風にまとめましたけどみんなのおもちゃにされたこと私忘れません<笑> Good girl don't do it don't forget about that you must Never let that go. Was it an eye cut on? That was longer than I thought it'd be, but I'm not disappointed. That was a fun bit. Just hit an hour or two on the timer. We're gonna wrap it up here. This is a great spot. Well, 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 well. It finally happened. Just as I predicted. Extremely awkward, but innocent and very fun to see. So, not disappointed. It was a great episode. But with that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying this as much as I have. It's been a fun freaking route. And I think we can now say without a doubt, or I can, that this route is definitely longer than Suzune's. But. Hey, what can we do? They're all great characters, though. By far, I haven't been disappointed with any characters, but my least favorite, for sure, I could tell you right away is Nozomen. It's not that Nozomen is bad, but I prefer the other character's personality more than hers. And that doesn't make her bad, it's just preference. But, anyways, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know by hitting that like and subscribing if you haven't already done so. By the way, 
I have a second channel. If you want to see stuff, content by me that's not visual novels, please check it out because I pretty much just play whatever I want that's not a visual novel. Though, if there is like a short visual novel ever that I find interesting or for whatever reason I decide to want to play on that channel, I will play it, but that channel will still be mostly about other stuff like Resident Evil, Spider-Man, maybe some horror games that I would like to play because I haven't played any horror games for a while, for a while, or indie horror games. I would like to bring some more of those back, you know, because this channel started off with that, for those that know that been keeping up. It started off on horror, and I started this visual novel in particular called Killer Love, and from there, it got me more invested and curious about visual novels, and so that's when I found Cafe Stella, and then I jumped around, and I found more, and now we're here. <laughs> but... After all that time, I decided that, hey, I'm going to just make this a visual novel channel because it seems that a lot of people enjoy it. I enjoy it. And it's a very different, it's a very different kind of niche, at least from what I've seen. I don't really know too many YouTubers that are doing visual novels. And I think that could be great. You know, something that is different, stands out and that people enjoy. So I was like, yeah, we're going to do that. But anyways, all of that to say, I have a second channel. Please check it out. It's called Vitamin D. You could find the channel link in this video description. So please check it out. I would really appreciate it. I would really, really appreciate it. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. Once again, thank you so freaking much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all stay safe. And as always, until next time.